that's it. I'm heading back. This is like literally two blocks from the hotel. We're staying at the uh, Normandy Hotel, 9 Rue de la Chelle. And it's, I think it's right in the middle of what's known as like Sector 1. Um, it's like, a, it's like a, a Nautilus shell in the center of Paris. It spirals into different sectors. And uh, one of my clients is, uh, is from Paris. And he said uh, Sector 1, Sector 3, and Sector 5 were the most, were the best, the best as far as being easily accessible. But honestly, it doesn't matter where you are. It's, it's insane everywhere you go. And there's tons of stuff and there's cabs everywhere. And you know, you just jump on a cab and you go anywhere that actually, to be honest with you, people have been pretty friendly here and pretty funny actually. They got kind of a quirky little weird sense of humor. Um, but they've been really nice to us. I haven't felt anything weird. I mean, they definitely have a different trip um, than Americans. Like, whoa, different. Service sucks. Food sucks, kind of. I mean, I don't know, maybe if you're into French food. But we've been just trying to, we've done some crepes and some stuff like that. But, you know, overall, it's again with the food, man, Jesus. Um, but uh, people have been really nice. People have been very, very nice, man. But the French people may disagree with me, but New York destroys this place when it comes to food. It's not even a competition. But there you go, I said it. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a big cyber hug. You ready? Cyber hug. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. I feel like I'm a million miles away, but I'm probably only about 5,600 miles. <laughs> yeah, just not, not nearly a million, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. All right. All right. I miss you guys. I love you, and I'll see you guys uh, Sunday night. I'll be home. And then by and then by Tuesday you'll want to ship me back off to Europe, <laughs> or Monday. Maybe Monday. <laughs> That's not nice. No, it isn't. See, see how she is. She's cold blooded, man. Mama don't play. Oh, let's see the belly. Hold on. Lift up the shirt. Come on, lift up the shirt. But there's a fake TV on YouTube. Come on, lift up the shirt. Whoa. Look. Asia, step back a little bit. Get out of the light. There you go. Wow. It's more impressive in person, believe it or not. Turn the other way with the shirt up. Oh, man. Look at that. What do you think of that, Asia? She's getting pregnant looking. <laughs> <laughs> I got pregnant looking. Um, he moves around kind of a lot now, like, kind of. So, I don't know what he's doing, but. Yeah. He's playing he's, at air drums. I'm doing fiddles, I think. <laughs> he's getting his groove on. All right, kids. I love you. I miss you guys, and I'll see you in a few days, all right? And Asia, I'm proud of you for your first day at work. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, sweetie. I love you. I love you both. Bye. That's it. Man, I'm in hell over here trying to upload these videos. <laughs> I called him back. So let's see it, man. Uh, uh, look at this. <laughs> it's official. Oh my god. That's pretty fashionable. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Working at a cool Halloween store. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. That that was awesome. I've learned a few new words. Yeah. I've learned horn or horn or horn horn. Dutch Dutch is hard to speak. Horn. Yes. Yeah, you're you're, camera, you're um, coming in really really blurry right now. Like you're like a watercolor. Ankhausen. And when you make a mistake and. Last video uh, or on one of your 
video is the... Oh, oh, look. It means uh, unbelievable in, in, in Dutch. Oh, look. I think that's snuffle... No. <laughs> and, and in Paris, when you see somebody always, bonsoir. <laughs> bonsoir. I like that. All right, kids. I got to go get it on to the brink of dawn. Somebody's got to keep us living in the lap of luxury. While on vacation in Paris? Yeah, I'm working. Are you kidding me? Always. Making contacts. <laughs> okay, baby. All right. See, look. <laughs> it's on TV, but those were the windmills that were out in the ocean in Holland when we were flying in. Look at that. Crazy. Wow, the news is a trip out here, man. If you just watch the news out here, you would think that Americans were about nothing but like healthcare, Afghanistan, and the S and P. That's all yeah, we yeah. are. That's all we are to the rest of the world. The other thing too is that over here in Europe, all they get is the spin. They don't get any of anything other than just the BS. CNN spin and and they have no idea how a lot of other Americans feel about Barack Obama and all of the crap that's going on. All right, Mike. So, uh, we're sitting at breakfast and it's gotten weird already. <laughs> they wouldn't get me a menu. <laughs> like they gave us one menu. Yes. Thank you. And the waiter looks like who? Mario Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he was like, we wanted cheese and ham on the omelet. The cheese yeah, ham and like it really heresy. annoyed him, man. <laughs> Total heresy that you wanted ham and cheese, dude. <laughs> so, traveling in Europe, what is the biggest adventure of all? Eating. Because <laughs> you don't know what you're going to get at any time. We've not seen an egg that actually... Looked like, like an egg. <laughs> They're like orange. <laughs> They're What'd like, you say? You thought they were quail eggs or something? They're like a quail egg mixed with cottage cheese. <laughs> and then slightly runny on top of it. Oh my god. So it's, uh... Another day. Paris. <laughs>